Well, good morning, YouTubers. This is the, it's the 26th of December. I'm uh, a back up to the cottage. Going to work on uh, splitter again. So this will be part two. This is what we got up here. There's a couple inches on the ground. A few flurries going right now. Naturally, the river is all froze over, but this is what we have. So I'll take you in and I'll show you what we're up against now. The temperature here is about 24 degrees. Like I said, we're getting a few snow flurries. Okay, we'll take you in and show you what we're going on in here. Alright, this is what we got going on in here. I got one side finished and tacked. One side's finished and tacked. Now I'm going to take that off and finish welding that up. And then I can let that cool down and it'll be re once I clean it up, it'll be ready for paint. And uh, while it's cooling down, that I'll start finishing up the other side because I got two more brackets to make over there yet. So, but it came out kind of what I wanted. I've also also going to put. Uh, I'll put a piece of metal here. Well, here, I'll get it. Let's go get it. This piece of flat stock. And that'll be welded right in there. And then there's one, two, three more braces that got to go across this way yet. And I think it's going to be pretty strong. We'll have to see. I'm hoping it will be. But that's where we are right now, and I'll take you along a little bit more as I get a little further along. I'm done for today. It's almost 5 o'clock, but this is what I accomplished. This side is finished. I had some problems. It warped some when I welded it, and I figured it would, but I didn't know it was going to be that bad, so I had to make a lot of adjustments on it. Took me most of the afternoon, but we got her done. So tomorrow we'll be cleaning it up and then priming it. And while that's paint, while the paint is drying, I'll uh, start on the other side and get that one finished up. But this is what we got so far. All right, so I'm gonna pick this up again in the morning and uh, let's just see a little bit more then well hello again youtubers this is Sunday afternoon getting a little bit of snow I don't know if you could see that or not car is getting covered up they say we're only supposed to get an inch but I know how that goes we'll probably get quite a bit more but this is day two of my project. I got the first side completed. It kind of warped on me. So it was a real bear to get it done. We got it done. And it's primed. And I'm hoping to put the finished coat of paint on today before I quit and let it dry overnight. The garage will still be nice and warm overnight, so. But that's what it looks like. This is what she looks like. And, take over by the others. Now I'm working on the other side to get that done. I've got some of it tack welded already. I'm working on the the angle braces right there. I got one in and I got the other one cut. Plus I got where the players are there. I got to tack that yet. But that's where we are today. This is going to be a multi-day project. I could see that. I mean, just painting is going to take a day for each one, you know. But we will check in with you as we get farther. 
I think it's good and strong. I believe I could probably stand on it when it's finished. So to me, I think that's going to be pretty strong. So, I will check in with you later when we get closer. I've got my welding beanie on, so uh, that's why I have no brim on my cap. I have my welding beanie on. I was just going to start welding, and I thought, well, I'll check in with you. So we'll check in with you again. I don't know if it'll be later today or tomorrow, but we'll check in with you again. Well, hello again, YouTubers. This is day two of this segment, and I think we're finished except for waiting for paint to dry. So I'll take you in and I'll show you. Last night we got another two inches of snow, and normally, Normally I would show, uh, plow that out, but I think tomorrow is going to be my day on the tractor, and I think I'm just going to pack it down, because I need a good base anyway. And tomorrow night, we're supposed to get another four to six inches, so I think I'll pack this down tomorrow, and then wait for the big snowstorm. So let's go in and I'll, I'll show you what we got here. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. We got outside. We have 54 degrees in here. I don't know if you can see that or not. 54 in here. It's 24 degrees outside. So I just, while I'm waiting for paint to dry, I've just been kind of cleaning things up. I like to put my tools away when the project is complete. So I get some of it put away now. This is what it looks like before I put those on. And I've got, got one finished. One is finished right here. I just need to put it on. And I'll probably be doing that while I'm waiting for paint to dry on this one. This one just has the primer on it. And I'm waiting for that to dry. Primer takes usually about an hour to two hours to dry. When I put the black paint on, it takes overnight. So, so we'll check back in with you later as I get this other one on. All right, let's see if we can get this thing mounted. It's not light anymore. I think I mentioned earlier that this thing all worked out of shape. So hopefully everything will fit now. It took a lot of work to get the work to fit again. And we still got problems. This one looks like it might be alright. This one's going to be a problem, child. Yeah, that one's going to be a little bit of a problem here. So we get the other ones in. Whenever everything moved, I had to make a call 
kinds of adjustments. I said it was a it was a bear after this thing all worked to even get it to, to work. So, the one on the other side, not only did I tack it on the machine, I welded it on the machine. So when I took it off, nothing would move. So still going to be a bear. this one in first. Well we'll get this we'll get this thing on you don't need to watch all this garbage. There we got all the bolts in it now we just gotta tighten them up. Took a little prying. That's the problem when the things work on you. Let's get these tightened up first. With the vibration, there's probably a good chance that they'll come loose otherwise, even with lock washers on these. So, well, we'll put lock nuts on them and then we don't have to worry about it. is complete. Might want to make a couple little touch-ups. Do the paint chip a little bit in some spots. We got paint, we can touch it up a little bit. 
But it's going to be all scratched up anyway, so it's not a big deal. Didn't go through the primer, it don't look like, so. But we'll touch her up, give her a chance. Even though this paint is dry to the touch, it's not cured out yet. That's why, that's why just setting it down, you get some chips on it. Now we just got to wait for the paint on the other one. Hopefully, that one will fit a lot better. Like I said, like I said, I welded that one right on the machine so it couldn't move. So hopefully that's what it needed. We will see. Get these tools over on this side. And now we just have to wait. So I'll check back in with you. I'll check back in with you when I'm ready to do that one. Well, YouTubers, it's about 10.30 at night. I got the last coat of paint on. I'm going to leave the heat on in the garage here for another couple hours. And then I'm going to come out and shut it off. It'll have to dry overnight, hopefully. And we'll put it on tomorrow. This is the fourth day of this build for this section. I've... Uh, I got it finished. All I gotta do is mount it. I think it looks pretty good. So we'll get this mounted and then we'll call this project completed. So we'll set you up and let you see me mount this side. Fortunately, the noise you hear in the background is my furnace running. We're going to get this mounted if we can. Let's see if we can get this mounted. Things are pretty cold this morning. First one started is always the fifth problem. Looks like things warped a little bit on this one too. I 
that happens. But again, let me shut this. started. Well, there's a little struggle here to get it on, but looks like we got her now. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. 
here today. What do we got? That one's going to have to be put on by. Can't seem to get the socket on it. for you when you're working with angle iron don't get too close because the head of the bolt you can't get a socket on it so I had to put it in one six turn at a time with an open end wrench I mean it worked but as you can see it took quite a bit all right let's get these last four tightened up there this should be pretty simple then nothing today seems to be going being simple, so let's see. thinks it isn't strong enough. I weigh over 200 pounds. So it should hold a log or a round. So get the rest of the stuff put away and that'll be the end of this one. Okay that's the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed it seeing how you build something like this. I didn't show you too much of the welding and all that, but I think that's boring for you. But I'm real happy with it. And as you see, I stood on it and it held me very fine and I'm well over 200 pounds. So it should hold a log. All right. If you enjoyed this video, please tell your friends, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. If you give me a thumbs up, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to be notified of future videos, 
hit that little bell icon or uh, YouTube will notify you when I put up new videos. Till then, we'll see you on the next one. Probably we'll be plowing snow. All right, bye now.